Uh, my name is, is uh, Sergio Texera. I'm a client services manager here at the Shaw Conference Center. I've been in this position for 12 and a half years. And in that, in that capacity, I've uh, also taken uh, courses through the International Somalia Guild, and I'm now a certified wine steward. Looking at each glass of wine for a five ounce pour is five glasses, uh, so you're looking at at least at, at two bottles of wine. There's no one wine that, that encompasses all of those flavors. Uh, so again, it's a question of trial and error. Which wines do you want? Do you personally prefer mixing and matching with different portions? Technically, it's, it's trying to pair the, uh, the wine with, with the course. Um, normally, the wines are, are selected for the main course, not, not for the salads, not for the desserts. Um, we, don't, we only do a couple of small functions here that have uh, one wine per each course served. Um, so it's usually, again, a Chardonnay or a Cabernet Sauvignon for the, for, for, for the entire meal, which may not necessarily pair the best with the salad or, or the dessert. One of the most popular wines in the world is uh, Apothic uh, out of California. It's uh, very fruity, uh, very jammy. Um, it's a very approachable wine. So for beer drinkers, for hard liquor drinkers that are coming into the wine market for the first time, um, always start with, with the fruitier versions. Um, and then as you find your favorites, kind of explore from there. And, and, and as you develop your palate, you can kind of go into the drier Cabernet Sauvignons, uh, the stronger ones that leave that residue in your mouth. There's a Felangina, it's a this Italian white grape. It goes really great with uh, Oodle Noodle, the Mongolian stir fry. Um, it cuts down a lot of, on, the, on the spice of the dish. Um, so that's definitely one of my personal favorites. Um, one of the ones that I've discovered recently is uh, Marques de Musa. It's a Grenache from Spain, from the Carignan region. Uh, retails about anywhere from $13 to $16 around the city, depending where you find it. Um, and it's a great food pairing wine. My personal philosophy is if you like it, drink it, um, and as long as you enjoy it, that's all good.